hello friends welcome back today we are going to see what is thread protocol we see many low power pan wireless technologies are there in the iot space there are there are the protocols like zigbee ant and z wave this technology support mesh for the short range communication if we see this technologies then this protocols or the technologies need the hub or gateway to communicate with the cloud at the same time if we consider the case of zigbee then coordinator is a must if coordinator fails then the entire network collapses if one device wants to communicate with the other device then it has to go through the route of the coordinator let us see whether thread protocol solves all these problems so what is thread protocol thread is a low power secure and ipv6 based wireless mesh protocol this protocol is used for the devices which are operating in the 2.4 gigahertz radio band frequency as we know that this is the license free band thread protocol is based on 6 loop pan this protocol is said to be application agnostic in the case of matter matter can form the application layer for this thread protocol as we know that thread protocol is going to play important role in matter which is promoted by csa that is connectivity standards alliance thread is promoted by the thread group which is backed by the big players like google amazon samsung and apple etc so what are the main features for thread thread supports mesh topology that is multi to multi point topology or communication it supports ipv6 or ip based communication there is no single point failure in the thread protocol which we are going to see later each device can be addressed with the ip address so there is easy or seamless communication with the cloud this happens because of the border router which we are going to see next thread can provide self healing network now we will see the roles played by the devices used in the thread protocol first device is the thread router as the name suggests it does the job of routing so this device forms the backbone of the network for extending the range and the coverage the router receives the data and forward its to the nearby device which is in the radio range the radio of this device should be always on the device is uh, generally mains powered as it is a router it can play the role of the parent for the end devices rather thread end devices next is leader router so it is elected by the routers in the network thread network consists of the partitions each partition has got its leader routers so this device takes decision regarding the role upgradation of the routers it maintains the router ids it controls the commissioner and it controls the routers as well next comes the border router this device works as a link between the thread network and the cloud or the other thread network it can use wifi and it communicates with the thread devices in the thread network then comes the thread end device this device sleeps most of the time and wakes up to send the data or pull the parent router to get the data it is generally a sensor device which is operating on a battery end device is always connected to the parent router through which it communicates with the rest of the network it does not forward the messages read or router eligible end device it is a device which can change its role as per the need if there is a need for a router in the network then this device can change its role to the router and provides the reliable network if there is a redundancy of the routers in the network then uh, this device can downgrade itself to the end device role so this image shows the thread network we can see these are the routers which are forming the backbone of this network this is the end device or called the or the thread end device which represents the switch this end device represents the lamp or the light and this end device this thread end device represents the temperature sensor these red color routers are the read 
which can change their role as per the need and this is the leader for this partition and this is the border router which is communicating with the cloud over the Wi-Fi range so how the network is formed or how to join the thread network so joining process has got the two steps first is the commissioning in this step the unattached device is authenticated first and then securely brought into the network there are two types of the commissioning first is external and second is internal in the external case the joining device may lie on the other network like Wi-Fi in the internal type the joining device may lie in the mesh network after commissioning is completed then the process of attaching starts this is the second step so in this case the device sends the parent request which is received by nearby router which sends the parent response then the device selects the appropriate parent and sends a child ID request which is accepted by the parent router and which sends the child ID response and after this device becomes the part of the network so let us see the security part the threads ensures end-to-end -end encryption for communication across the network new device is added into the network with with the authentication and security when new device becomes the part of the network then the MAC level encryption is used for the communication how the network is managed the network management is done to ensure the reliability of the network the router and the read devices they do the job how do they maintain the network so it is done by advertising first read or router sends the advertisement the other router use this to evaluate link quality or cost the router also finds the optimal path for ensuring network reliability dynamic routers like the read they play very important role here they can change the role as per the need of the network so in the image here we can see this is the router which is read if there is a redundancy of routers then it can change its role to the end device so now you can see that router has become end device and change its role so in this image we can see this is the end device if there is a need of more routers then it can upgrade itself to the router role network for the thread protocol is formed by the many partitions a partition is governed by the leader router which is elected by the other routers present in the partition the partition is cluster of the routers which is not communicating with the other cluster if one cluster manages to communicate with the other cluster then both merge to form a single partition and there is a single leader for the single partition now in the image here you can see this is the single network or the single partition when the connectivity is lost we can see the the network has split into the two partitions and each partition has got its own leader or the leader router the thread protocol was started with the focus on home automation but now we can extend this thread technology to building automation lighting and industrial automation healthcare HVAC etc so thread protocol is very robust it is scalable it is flexible and it provides no single point of failure so it has got many advantages so it will be very useful in the IT space in the coming year we all know that the thread protocol is going to play a very important role in the matter protocol it forms one of the layers of the matter in this video we have seen what is the thread protocol and how it works what are the device roles and what are the applications of the thread protocol